One of the fears of rapid weight loss is that your metabolism is going to drop. In this episode of Two Fit Docs, we are going to talk about a research paper that uh, says otherwise. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky. I'm a college instructor of the science of nutrition. And I'm Dr. Keith. I'm a chiropractor in private practice. I wanted to say I'm a private professional bull rider. Or something. <laughs> I'm a you chiropractor could. in private practice for the past 27 years. And we're on another episode of Two Fit Dots. Yep. And so uh, obviously, if you're if you're new to our channel, welcome. Uh, but if you are new, then you uh, haven't met Keith yet. He has been our human guinea pig for the past year. Uh, he lost uh, 80 pounds over the year following a ketogenic diet, good rapid weight loss. So uh, always get the fear of rapid weight loss is that your metabolism is going to fall. And uh, we've done some, some videos before on how uh, your diet had been very muscle sparing and uh, we'll, we'll, link, we'll link to that. You actually had the charts made right. up and everything. Um, but here's a, here's a little bit more. This is an interesting study. It came out just this year. It was piggybacked off of um, a study these guys did uh, a few months before that, but it's really it was looking at resting metabolic rate of obese patients when they were put on a very low calorie ketogenic diet. And do you want to give like the synopsis of it? Right. So they had uh, um, I think they had 20 obese mm -hmm. subjects. Uh, they had to meet a lot of criteria: no no diabetes, no kidney, you know, liver mm -hmm. issues, all those things. Um, they put them on a four-month plan, and they went through, I think, four different kind of phases of this. Um, initially, I don't think they were in ketosis, but they, they got them into ketosis, I think, for the, the middle two months out mm -hmm. of that. Um, like three months, maybe. Yeah, something like that. So they had uh, uh, a, a, a very low carb, um, and actually their protein was, was pretty nominal uh it's like what we talked about in one of our other ones 0. 0.8 to 1.2 grams per kilogram of i think ideal body weight enough to weight. hopefully sustain their lean right. mass was their thoughts right yeah um and so going through that then uh um did you want me to talk about the results you want to talk about the results? yeah well it was it was 600 to 800 calories is is the range that they were put on for a very low calorie diet that would be a very low calorie mm -hmm. diet and um you know, staying, staying in, in getting yourself into ketosis. Uh, so the, the result was after this study that they lost 20.2 kilograms of weight loss, I believe was like the, was the average weight. That would be 44 and a half pounds in four months. So that's like 11 that's pounds. That's a good, that's a good clip, yeah, right? That's, that's really pretty good. fast. Yeah. The, however, when they went and ch tested their resting metabolic rate, there was not a significant drop. And so why was that? Well, the interesting thing was that they only had a reduction of one kilogram of lean mass, of, of, muscle, of muscle mass during that entire four months. So the researchers came to the conclusion that their metabolisms stayed high because the very low ke calorie ketogenic diet that they were on spared their muscle. They were able to keep their muscle which kept their metabolism going. Right, your muscle is kind of your, your big engine that burns the calories. So that's why it's really important to maintain. You're just gonna keep talking while the yes, phone's ringing. Yes, I am, I'm not I'm gonna ignore that phone. Call from not available. Not available. Um, give, give, her, give her a chance to, she'll, they'll hang up. Okay. Right, so your muscle is kind of the engine of your metabolism mm -hmm. if you want to if you want to say so on typical diets that are more of a, a higher carb and and that you you tend to lose a lot more and we'll talk about that a little bit too but you tend to lose a lot of that muscle mass which means that your engine gets smaller and you're not burning as much fuel your met your metabolism actually goes down right and what happens after you go off your diet your weight goes back up again right. we've all experienced that right? yeah we ha yeah we have um and and you have not on your ketogenic um, yes, diet yes i have not so we we sat here with our cups of coffee <laughs> we decided that we had two reasons why we think that this uh it, uh ketogenic diets it makes sense that they are muscle sparing first of all um it makes sense that your body doesn't want to use your muscle. Go ahead, you can cover that one. Right, so the, the process of turning protein into glucose, which is what your liver would 
do with that if, if you was eating your muscle it would be turning it into glucose so on a high glucose or high carb diet it needs all that it's going to burn that up and that process is pretty inefficient you, you amino acids you you have to deaminate them it takes a lot of energy mm -hmm. if you're fat adapted mm -hmm. which means that you've been in ketosis for a while and the machinery for burning fat is is chugging right along yep. in your liver um then it's much easier for you and more more efficient to use the fat, either from your diet or from your body fat. Right. Yeah. Ketogenic diets make you a good fat burner. You're not a sugar burner anymore, right? You're a fat burner. So if you're on a very low calorie ketogenic diet, um, conclusion number two, right? So if you're not eating that many calories, but you're, you're in ketosis, well, that makes sense also. Where right. are you going to pull that fat from to get energy? From your, from your body fat. So it makes a lot of sense. It does. It makes a ton of sense. And, and this, this was born out all last year when, when we were kept checking, checking my uh, body composition throughout the time that I was uh, losing weight. And my lean mass stayed really pretty stable yeah. all through it. Most of my loss was, was coming from fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you, did you want to mention anything about where you're at right now with adjusting your calories? And yeah. So I'm going to try doing something... Um, Actually, this, this, this is kind of a, um, a notion from uh, Stephen Finney and Jeff Volick in, in one of their books. Um, and it talks to the fact that if, so if I'm taking in 1,700 calories, which is what I need, and I'm going to kind of maintain, I'm not going to be burning as much of my own body fat. Right. So their kind of thought was, and you have to kind of do all the figuring out, but was to let's just assume that we want to get half of our fat needs in calories so if that's 75 percent of our our caloric daily caloric need from fat then half of that fat will be in our diet and we'll assume that half that fat comes from our body fat and then you you obviously put in the right amounts of macronutrients for protein and and a little bit of carbs for me that's going to be less than 30. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that way, you're actually, so you're actually getting your body involved in providing calories, mm -hmm. some of your daily calories. And, and it, it does make sense, logically, so I kind of mm -hmm. want to try that. Right. Uh, it is going to keep my caloric intake kind of on the low side. Yeah. But, I mean, I still have plenty of mm -hmm. calories in this, mm -hmm. in this body of mine. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, we, we kind of see that, how it shifts. And, and this, this study came out kind of... Uh, really solidified my idea of we should, you know, we should try this. Yeah, yeah. So there you go, our guinea pigs, pigs back. Um, we we got we heard about this from Mike Mutzel too, by the way. I wanted to give right. him a shout yeah. out. It's a great, yeah. great, Good got channel. a great uh, yep. channel going. Um, so stay tuned. We will we will give you some reports and, and let you know how uh, Keith is progressing by getting his dropping his calories on his ketogenic diet and see if that makes the. Uh, makes a difference yeah we'll report all right hey thanks again for for watching um love having you guys here and uh sharing this journey with us please uh subscribe and we will be back soon with another video to help you reach your goals yeah. thanks see you next time